This is Neil Schneider for MTVS TV. I'm joined by Marchand 3D, David Johnson, president of Marchand 3D. And they've, of course, got a wonderful set of 3D polarized glasses. David, good to see you at CES. How, yeah, how, nice to see you again. How are you enjoying the show so far? We've been busy from dawn when we got here this morning to every single minute. So it's been a great show for us. Now, last year at CES, the big trend was, uh, I'd say, LCD shutter glasses, where the glasses would flicker left, right, left, right, left, right very quickly, so you would get that full stereoscopic 3D image. This year, I'm seeing a lot of polarized solutions. Maybe you could elaborate a bit on polarized technology and, and how your glasses fit in. Yeah, thanks, Neil. Um, yeah, this last year was a kind of a watershed year for the 3D uh, industry. Um, we saw a lot of the shutter glasses being introduced. Um, there seemed to be a slight bit of pushback from the consumer on the usability of the shutter glass. Um, we introduced our product. We were uh, at CES last year in a lonely uh, corner of, uh, of the hall. So uh, this year we're in center stage. Um, we've got a full collection of uh, product available for uh, active and passive uh, use. Uh, they're not for active televisions, but they're for active outdoors. So they double or have a dual purpose as a sunglass. So you can use them outside, come inside, watch your television, and go to the movie all with one pair of glasses. So I think it's a great, uh, great opportunity and uh, a great new part of this business. Excellent. Maybe for the consumers who are viewing this and they're not quite familiar with shutter glasses versus polarized, can you explain how polarized glasses work? Sure. Um, on the front of a passive television, there's a uh, polarized filter, much like Saran Wrap, except it ask, acts as a polarized filter. And the front of our glasses decode the content that's being broadcast off the front of the television. So your left eye is reading the left to right viewing, and your right eye reads the right to left viewing. So it acts, in essence, as a filtration system that's very uh, gentle on your system, very gentle on your eyes, and uh, you get the full uh, 3D content. And I gather there's some brightness advantages as well? Um, most people say that it's, it's a lot to do with comfort. Um, our eyewear is designed and made by one of the largest optical manufacturing companies in the world, Marchand. And so we've been doing this a long time, so we know what comfort is, we know what nose pads and, and comfortable ear, uh, ear pieces do, um, and they're light, lightweight, uh, and very functional. Excellent. These are, no, of course, these are samples of your glasses. Maybe we could tilt this up. Do you get it in the shot? So I, I see there's a lot of different styles here uh, for the glasses. You recently made a big announcement uh, regarding uh, a certain patent around polarized glasses. Maybe you could talk about that. Sure, Neil. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, we were, we have, uh, we've been doing this three or four years now, and uh, we did file uh, several years ago for a number of patents surrounding the decoding of 3D content for curved lenses. So uh, we were thrilled uh, two weeks ago uh, that the U.S. Patent Office uh, issued the first of, we hope, many uh, new products uh, that will be covered under our patent portfolio. So it's a, it's a great marketing device for us. Uh, we feel like um, we have a great opportunity now to, uh, to uh, commercialize our, our, our inventions as well. Excellent. Now, are there some advantages to a curved lens versus a, a flat lens? Uh, like, why was this patent so important? Um, well, in general, um, a curved lens uh, mirrors, if you will, the curvature of your eye. So that as you uh, look through the visual impact of a high quality lens like ours that's curved, you have less distortion, you have less ghosting, less eye strain, uh, the glasses fit more ergonomically to your head so that you don't have this flat piece. Uh, very seldom would you ever see a flat piece of eyewear other than in a movie theater. So um, it's quite an accomplishment. Okay. And now, uh, I understand there's a large variety of glasses available. What would you estimate the price point is for, for your polarized glasses? Uh, well, we sell in different channels, Neil. So uh, the channel that will be in the movie theater, for example, will be around $35 retail. Uh, in the electronic stores, uh, $25 to $40 retail. Um, our high-end branded product will be $75 to $150 or so. And then we will have some of our very high-end fashion brands at over $150 retail. So value-priced uh, at one end and very fashion-conscious at the other end. 
Excellent. Now, just a last question for you. Uh, in relation to the televisions on the market, can you name some brands that are compatible with, with, your, with the Marshall 3D glasses? Um, currently on the market, uh, Vizio is, is recently announced and is now in the market and in the stores actually with a Vizio uh, 3D passive television. Uh, LG, uh, we currently provide product for them as well. Uh, JVC, Sharp, Hyundai. Um, and Samsung is announcing, I believe at the show, that they have a passive solution as well. So we think that there's a, quite a trend uh, moving forward. Uh, laptops and desktops are also in, in the works. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, David. Uh, we've been talking to David Johnson, president of Marshall 3D. You're watching MTBS-TV at CES 2011.